Jelly beans, I love chocolate buttons, I love uh, apple jacks, uh, cola bottles, the flying saucers, I love them all. And I know what you're thinking, <laughs> she's got issues. <laughs> no, no, I've just got a sweet tooth. Um, but do you know what I really wish? I wish they hadn't closed Woolworths. Because I used to love going into Woolworths and getting a pick and mix. Do you remember that? Yeah. I used to love a pick and mix. I'd go out on a Saturday with my friend and say, hey, let's go to, we can shorten it to Woolies, can we, to make it sound cooler. Let's go to Woolies and get a pick and mix. Yay! Yeah. Because although you can get a pick and mix from Tesco, but it doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? Unless you want to get dog food with it as well. And I can't really imagine myself, my 15-year-old self, saying, hey, let's go to Tesco and get some pick and mix. Um, I mean, could shorten to Tess, can you? But she's married to Vernon Kay, so it wouldn't work. Um, um, so uh, back in the day, so I used to work in the city and I used to drink quite a lot of alcohol. I wasn't an alcoholic, I just drank a lot of alcohol. And I just found on a Friday night, I would just get really, really drunk. I'd become an asshole. <laughs> I would, I'd be a night asshole. I'd be an asshole and I'd do karaoke. And what I found, right, although I do still like a drink, mine's a Prosecco, by the way, I do still like a drink. I'm on the sweets as well. But I do still like a drink, but I don't drink as much as I do. But I do find, since I've reduced my alcohol intake, I just find other drunk people, I just find that they're assholes. And, uh, um, yeah, she's, you know. See, I just, I just lose patience, I just walk off and leave them. You know, it's just what you do, isn't it? Are you all drinking tonight? Yeah. You're all lovely! Yay! You're all lovely. I went to a party when I was about 16. I lived in a tiny, tiny village in the countryside. Uh, next door, we had a um, uh, little house on the prairie. Do you remember that? Little house on the prairie. I used to love that. I used to call a little mouse on the hairy. <laughs> Come on, we all do, don't we? I live in the countryside, you know, a highlight or pick and mix and Laura Ingalls, give me a break. Anyway, I went, to, I went to this party across the road. It was on a farm, obviously. And I was at this party and this boy took a liking to me and he asked me if I'd like to go for a little walk. And I said, oh, yes, please. I love a walk. What gives you that idea that I like walking? <laughs> Is it the legs? Anyway, we went for a little walk. <laughs> I know, talk about playing hard to get. Anyway, we went for this little walk. And um, we ended up by a barn, obviously. And I'm leaning up against the barn and he kisses me. Yeah, kisses me. It's my first kiss ever. And I wanted to be my last because it was so frothy from his side, really frothy, like a, like a, like a spin on the washing machine. And I was like, oh my God, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. Get me some softener, you know, or get me a towel. And anyway, I got a bit bored. Um, I did kiss him back because, you know, support local and all that. But um, I, um, yeah, I said, look, do you mind if we go back to the party? He was like, yeah, yeah, sure. So we went back to the party. And as we approached the crowd of people, the ten people that were there, the eight people and the two sheep that were there, we, um, I got this, I was on a farm, and um, I got this round of applause. I was clapping and cheering, and I was like, oh, my goodness, what's going on? Why are they clapping? Why are they cheering? So I just sort of bowed and curtsied, oh, it was my default, I'm a performer. And they're like, encore, encore, and I said, oh no, he's in the crematorium. And um, I, was all, I was all really confused. Anyway, the next day, I found out, right, this boy that had kissed me at the party, he made a bet with his friends that he could get me into bed. Now, I'm not being funny, but I don't remember there being a bed. Unless, you know, the second date was a, you know, a trip to dreams. You've got Joanna Page doing the commentary, you know, we can all dream, can't we? Yeah, so I don't recall there being a bet. And obviously he didn't win the bet. But if he had won the bet, he would have won a whole crate of beer. 
No! <laughs> no, I just thought, my gosh, I had complete pity for him. I, I, thought, I felt really sad for him. I thought, you poor, you poor, poor thing. Because obviously not only are you an asshole when you've had a drink, you're an asshole when you're sober. <laughs> that 